Hello, welcome to LabVIEW Pro. In this video, we'll discuss about how to write a LabVIEW data into a spreadsheet CSV file. In the front panel, we have a cluster input control which contains a string input uh, with a level name and a numeric control for the age input and the gender input using the enum. And on the block diagram we have a control and uh, as you can see in the background we also have the .csv file uh, name label name detail .csv. Now what we have to do is since the cluster contains different type of data type and now we have to write the data into the CSV file or the spreadsheet file, what we have to do is we have to convert all of them into the same data type. But since the cluster contains a string, what we have to do is we have no other choice but to convert all the different data types into string. So what we're trying to do is uh, the string the name is already in the string so we don't have to convert that but we have to convert for the age and the gender so using the numeric numeric fractional numeric into a string vi we can convert into the string and now what we have to do is since the gender is in the enum we cannot convert it easily so what we have to do is we have to use the format into string vi so what it does is it converts any type of data type into a string. So now we have got three different elements of the cluster into a string. Now what we have to do is we have to build an array of all three data. clean the diagram and now we have the append data that we can write into the spreadsheet file go to the file IO palette and we have the write into the spreadsheet file so we'll give the value of that 2d data rather we'll use only one data at the moment 2d data means if we have different rows or columns that is the uh, many values that is the array of cluster now since it is a CSV file we have to uh, select the delimiter as comma as CSV means comma separated value now we have to give the file path name since that is the data file what we're going to do too is we can go into the properties then select the path over there copy it and create constant to the file path of the write into the spreadsheet vi paste and we have got the file path of our file let's check beforehand it's empty make sure and then we have to write the name of the file as well this all will see us make sure the spelling is correct now let's check whether it works or not first of all we'll update the name let it be John Smith. Update the age as well to 34 and it's a male, that's fine. So if we'll run it, the code has run. So let's check CSV file. That means we have got the data. John Smith 34 male. So that's correct. Now what we'll do is we'll change the name again and try to run it again. Yeah. So let it be John Doe and change the age. Now it's fine. Okay, I'll let it be for the sake of the changing the using the uh, enum function, let's change it to female. Let it be the Elizabeth Swan. And if we'll run it now, what you'll see is the new data has overwritten the value. 
But what if we do not want to override, but we want to add different values? So what we can do is we can just add the value true over there. That's the append value. And now, since the CSV file already contains the Elizabeth Swan, what we'll do is we'll input a different value that will append to the existing value rather than overwriting it. So run it. And if we check it, now we'll see John Doe 21 mail is added afterwards. 